Hello, everyone. So you can see from the title today, we are talking about what to include on the website for your home cookie bakery or your home baking business that will help you grow your business and help you serve your customers as well as you do in person online. So something that I have been talking a lot about recently is how to grow your home bakery, how to grow your business. And I've recently come out with a course called Cookie Career. And in that course, I share a website template. And that just allows you to um, basically take a website I've already created and tweak it to make it your own. You don't have to start from scratch and build it all from the beginning. So I'm going to take just a second and check to make sure that we're live on Facebook and everything is streaming like it's supposed to. And then we are going to get into what we're talking about today. Okay. We're good to go. It looks like everybody can see. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to share my screen because I've made a little slideshow here to kind of help us <laughs> with what we're talking about today. Okay, and that's showing up good. I don't do this often with the presentations, so I wanted to make sure everything was showing up. I've got my phone here next to me. Um, so like I said, I did create that website template in the Cookie Career course. And so that has gotten me thinking a lot about how to create websites for cookie decorators specifically, for home bakers specifically. I know for a long time, I felt that my business didn't need a website or didn't warrant a website really. Um, I thought that was for bigger businesses, for um, people, for, for businesses who were um, making more revenue or, um, you know, just, just bigger. We always have this idea in our head of our business being bigger or us getting to something when we're, when we've grown to a certain point. But once I created my website and once I really nailed down, um, how to make that website work for me, that was when my business was able to start growing more and more. And I have I got customers from my website when I was doing cookies from my home. Um, so we're going to talk today about what to include on your website, how a website can help you, and just a little bit about web design for cookie decorators and home bakers. Um, we live in a time when websites and creating your own website is more accessible than ever. Um, there is a learning curve to it. There are lots of apps and softwares and websites. You can use platforms to create websites. I personally use Wix. The website template in Cookie Career that I was telling you about, it is made with Wix. And when you go in to edit it, you use the Wix editor. I think that it is really user-friendly. It's pretty... Um, pretty easy to learn if you just need to know the basics. Um, like anything, you do have to kind of get used to using it. But if you want to create your own website, there are lots of options for you to create your own website. And I think I pay like $30 a month for mine. And I sell like y'all know I do videos, blogs, online courses, um, all those things. So you, mine's really not even that expensive. And I, I do all that from it. So it's not terribly expensive, not a terrible learning curve, and I'll talk a little bit more about it as we go, but it's just know that it's not as complicated and there's not as much barrier as you might think to creating your own website. So as a baker, as a home baker specifically, your website can help you find new customers with the power of search. So you may have heard someone in a marketing podcast or um in something you were watching, say something about SEO, that's search engine optimization. Basically, it just means finding ways for your, your site, your website page to go higher in search results. So when someone Googles um, cookie decorators in Collinwood, Tennessee, Sarah Grace Cookie Co. could come up because I've got something on my website about Collinwood, Tennessee. I've actually removed that since then, since I've not been making cookies for the public anymore. But they could find my website because I have my city and state on my homepage when I was making cookies. Um, but that local search 
people searching for cookie decorators near me, um, home bakers near me, cakes near me, where to get birthday cakes near me. Um, those are all ways that people can find you and you can change the wording on your homepage. What Google does is it searches through all these sites and searches the words on your homepage and you can change how people find you. So you can also save time by answering common questions in one place. I know you all know that you get probably three or four Facebook messages every day asking, how do I order? How much your products? What do you offer? Um, those are just a few common questions that we tend to get at home bakers. And if you have a link where you can send someone and all they have to do is click and they have a page where they can read about all your services and everything, that makes it easier on them and you because we're used to having information at our fingertips now and you don't have to type out every single answer to every single question all day, every day and pause taking time from your orders and things like that. So it's very time saving. You can give your business and your brand an extra layer of credibility. Um, don't you just, when you see a business with a website, it does just make you um, think about them a little bit more professionally. You know, it doesn't take a lot to get a website in place for your business. It takes some time and some effort, but um, it does kind of make your customers trust you a little bit more, I think. Um, a lot of people said uh, when I had my website, when I was first starting out, people would say, oh, that that's legit. Wow, that looks nice, you know. Um, and it wasn't a super complicated website. It was very simple. But just having something out there with your name in the URL that's your own and not just a social media page, sometimes that does just add that extra layer of credibility. And if you're a home baker and you have something in your state, like a certification, I know in Alabama, they have serve safe. So if you're serve, safe, serve, serve safe, I'm not sure. <laughs> Alabama bakers, tell me what that is. Um, I'm a Tennessee girl, but I know a few bakers in Alabama. Um, but if you have those certifications, you can place that on your home screen and that adds that extra layer of credibility again to your business. So you can put serve safe certified. Um, my some of my cookie tips were featured in Southern Living Digital one time, and I've got all kinds of stuff about Southern Living on my homepage. That way that adds that extra layer of credibility. So anything, any accomplishments, accreditations, certifications, anything that you have that adds credibility to your business, you can add that to your website as well. You can also automate and streamline your ordering process. And I'll talk more about this as we get into the video, but this is kind of where I nerd out and get excited because you can really save some time when it comes to ordering. Okay, so we talked a little bit about the search results. Like I said, Google comes through the words on websites. So all the websites out there, Google has crazy robot magic. I don't know. I don't understand it. All I know is that if you want it to find you more easily and you want to rank for those certain search terms, you want to talk about you make cookies. So here in this about section, this is just an example um, on the website template, but it has something about the cookie kitchen. Then in the about section, it goes on to say she's from Houston, Texas and something about the Houston area. So mentioning those keywords like your location are gonna help people find you. Um, having your location on your Facebook pages and Instagram and all that will also help people find you, especially if you are one of the local bakers who is not able to ship, if you don't offer online offerings, which I was never able to as a cookie decorator, I've you know just served my local area. So this is a great way for people to find you. And I still have people call me who, um, I had a person call me, I guess it was six months ago or so. I'd forgotten to change something in Google um, to say that I was no longer offering cookies. And someone found something on Google and called me about an order the other day and said, well, it says here that you make cookies. And I was like, well, I forgot to change that. I'm sorry. <laughs> so people do find you from those search results. Now, this is just the home page of the website template. This is all editable and changeable. You change the colors, all that. But like I said, simply having a website, simply having that link in your bio on Instagram, that link to a website on Facebook, or that ability to say, go to sarahgracecookiecode.com for more information, 
when you're talking to people at Walmart, like (laughs) this just makes life a little bit easier. Um, I would see people out and about. And if I didn't have a business card on me, I could say, oh, you know, go to sarahgracecookieco.com and scroll it down on a post-it note right quick. And it did just make it easier to have a place to send people um, that served as just like a home for my business online. You know, especially when you are working from home, when you are a home baker, you don't really have a shop where you can put out all the things that you bake. You don't really have a shop where people can come in and ask you questions which is good in a lot of ways because we don't have those overhead fees and we don't have to worry about being somewhere from eight to five o'clock every day. But it has its downsides in that people can't just show up and talk to us. You know, we don't really have that home for our business outside of our personal home. So when you create a space online, it's like having a shop um, just with a lot, lot lower maintenance fees. (laughs) Okay, you can also answer really common questions. So you can do this with a FAQ section in the website template that I have available in Cookie Career. And I wanted to ask y'all too, um, just while I'm thinking about it, would y'all want the website template to be available outside of Cookie Career? I know some people may be home bakers who don't do as many cookies and maybe wouldn't want the cookie career course, but might want the website template. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments and I'll let you know um, when I get that product made, if there's interest in it. Um, But if you would like just the website template on its own as an offer, I would love to make that for you. Just let me know if it would be helpful to you. But on that website template, there's a section about your order form, and then you can have buttons here that kind of lead your customers through the process of ordering with you. And I'll show you that on the live side as well. But with Wix, it's really easy to embed a Google form like this. This is an order form. You can have it linked all over the place on your website. That can be kind of your go-to button that's sprinkled throughout so that you're kind of always reminding people, here's where you order, here's where you order. And so they can do that directly from your site and you can use lots of integrations from Wix. Wix is really great because you can kind of take what you need and leave what you don't. Um, I found that adding products wasn't really what I needed. Like I tried it for a pre-sale one time and it was just a little too complicated um, for the pre-sale that I was doing. But once I started adding digital products, it was perfect for that. So it's just, it depends on your needs, what you'll want to use. Wix has menus. They have, uh, like I said, products. They have events listings if you host classes. I always hosted my cookie classes with Wix events. And you can sell tickets through those events. You can um, send emails to your class participants, manage your guest list, send follow-up emails. You can do email marketing from Wix. It really is pretty limitless when it comes to what all you can do. So like I said, that template is available inside Cookie Career if you uh, want to go ahead and get that. But if you wanna, want me to make that a separate product, I would be happy to do that too. Okay. So the way that this works, when you transfer a website template, you just get an email like this and then you click accept transfer and then you are able to edit that site from your Wix site. And it takes just a little while to load. This is a pretty big program, but then you can just click edit site. And the great thing about Wix is it's pretty much just click, drag and drop change your colors. This is what the live site actually looks like. So I've got start and order sprinkled all over the site. You want to think about what you want your customers to do, what action you want them to take. Um, And in most home bakers cases, we either want them to have an order or we want them to come see us at a farmer's market or pop-up event. We want them to order from a pre-sale. So whatever action you would like them to take next with your business, you want to make sure that's there and available and ready to see. You can also add your Instagram feed. I've got an Instagram feed here. Um, It will automatically upload anything that you share to Instagram, which is handy because I know a lot of people post updates there. So this just makes it easy for your customers to find what they're looking for. 
there's an how to there is a how to order section pricing contact that kind of thing like I said you can do events um, I haven't put any events in there but it'll show up like a little picture and a description and people can sign up or buy tickets and then there is a my work section which it's not wanting to go to right now there we go I just need to go back to the home page and you can divide your work into categories, do a gallery with all the cookies that you have, or you can just let your Instagram feed service your gallery on the homepage. And then here you can actually get email subscribers as well. I think you do have to bump up a plan on Wix. I think that may be the business premium or business basic plus, something like that. Um, Wix has all that stuff laid out for you, but I think you do have to go up to like a 30 or $38 a month plan for email marketing, but just about any email marketing software where you're going to be able to do um, all the things that Wix lets you do uh, will be about $25, $26 a month. Okay. Looks like that editor's finally loaded. <laughs> there we go. So to edit in Wix, once you get the template, you can change colors, you can change shapes, you can change basically anything pretty much just by double clicking on it. And you can come over here and add anything that you'd like. You can change your color palette. Um, it's all really easy with Wix. And I know, I remember thinking, well, I don't need a website. I don't need a website, you know, for a little while. I really put it off or I just did it because it was a I thought about it like a formality, I guess, but it really did help my business grow. So that's why I included it in the Cookie Career course. I knew that was one of the big things that really helped me. So I wanted to share that with y'all. Okay, and while we are here, um, all this discussion of websites, all this that I've been doing lately with the web design templates and the ready-made stuff like that on the Cookie Career course, um, has got me kind of in a headspace of web design. And I've been helping some people locally with designing their websites, some different businesses, not just home bakers. And I'm kind of starting to share a little bit more about that now. Um, I've just been mainly doing websites for close friends and a few people local, like I said. But I'm starting to share more about that on this page here, the SGR web design. Um, I'm going to be going live on Facebook later to share some stuff that I've been working on. So if you are interested in brand design, web design, marketing your business through your brand and website, then this would be a good page for you to follow along as well. I'll still be posting cookie content. Um, we've got lots of new folks in our community, which is exciting. So I'm going to be going back to a few of those earlier videos that I posted and kind of resharing some of that content because I know a lot of people weren't around when um, I shared some of those basics and things that I shared in the beginning. So we're going to be sending out a few of the kind of throwback videos that way we can let our new people in on the basics and things like that. You've been telling me in some in, um, email newsletters and um, in a few of the comments that you're interested in going back to basics, a few of the people in the groups have. So we're going to be posting more of those videos. So if you see something you recognize, don't worry, it's <laughs> intentional. Um, We'll be going back to those and sharing them again some, and I will be sharing some new information on growing your business through brand and web design on the SGR web design page, and you can also go to sarahgraceroberts.com for more on brand and web design, and I'll be sharing more and more as I go on that, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm excited about it, and um, I hope you are too. I hope you enjoy Um if you enjoy my teaching, if you enjoy kind of my style of talking about things, if you like hearing me talk about cookies, you might hear, like hearing me talk about web design too. I don't know. But I hope this was helpful to you. If you like this video, then be sure to like and subscribe. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Facebook, like and follow. And if you need any more information, um, I will link the cookie career course in the comments. 
um, or the description if you're on YouTube. I'll also link the SGR web design page as well. And if I can help you with anything, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Y'all have a great day and thank you so much for watching.